Hey guys, welcome to DevPro CB's continued tutorial on HTML5. Today we're going to be talking about the block quote tag and the benefits that it can help your website with SEO and so forth. Uh, one of the things that you want to go ahead and look at is uh, the backlinking within block quotes itself. It's one of the ways you're going to get the best benefits from SEO on a white hat standpoint. And what I mean by that is that search engines like uh, Google and Bing and many of the others, they kind of want to make sure that when you are providing information, that you're providing proper credit to other websites. Search engines look for duplicate information from any other websites to see if it's been copied or um, modified in, in some different way. And if your content does not link back to those original R, R, um, articles, what will end up happening is you actually will take a negative hit because it looks like you're essentially just stealing information to try to trick the search engines as a whole to boost your rankings or actually it'll hurt you in the negative way. So what we're going to be doing is we're actually going to be looking at an article about the Lone Ranger, which is one of the newer movies that just came out from uh, the date of this uh, video. So when you look at the Lone Ranger, the person that wrote the article is talking about a whole bunch of stuff about you know other movies doing better than this one and so forth. So what we're going to be doing is essentially you know, we're creating what we call a mock quote uh, document. So we'll go ahead and open up a standard paragraph and do Johnny... Depp movie review. Okay, we'll close that. Okay, I think I spelled Johnny Depp's name right. Okay, and then the block quote is pretty simple. So you just open a block quotes, and then you cite the link that you're going to be linking to. And that link is here. Just go ahead and copy that. And then we'll go to the next line. Close block quote. Okay. And then we copy our text right here. Okay. Now, one of the things you want to go ahead and recognize here is that obviously you can see that the text goes all the way to the right. And this would be the same exact thing that happens with some other browsers. So you want to make sure, especially when coding just in HTML, that break lines exist every so often in those paragraphs just to make sure that it fits on smaller screens and, and things like that. It's not going to be necessary once you get into CSS uh, training with us, but for right now, you're going to be looking at the different things that are made available to you. That's interesting. I actually just noticed a oh racking. Okay, I thought that was a that was supposed to be ranking. I said racking. Anyway, off topic. So what will end up happening now when we go ahead and save this document and refresh it, we see our title here, and then we see that they we've quoted a specific portion of the text from this link. What's nice about the block quote, it doesn't mess up the flow or design that we're trying to establish with the website itself, but it still provides the information the search engines need to ensure that you're essentially not stealing information. But what's nice is you're also helping the other site benefit as well. And what I mean by that is that every time you take that website's information, when Google goes to index it, depending, let's say, you know, 40,000 websites all index that same information, Google is now looking at that like, hey, this must be a very popular article. When somebody searches for any keywords related to this article, we're probably going to go ahead and put this at a higher level because so many people are talking about this one particular article. So it's really beneficial when you go ahead and do block quotes because you kind of manipulate the search engines in a very beneficial way because one article can extend thousands of links in, in multiple directions. So Think about this as you. So imagine you wrote an original article and a thousand people block quoted some information from that article. What you've now done or what those sites have done is create a whitelist way of back black I'm sorry, backlinking to the site to your main website with the article. So this helps with your Google ranking. So don't look at block quote as, you know, some additional tag that you'll probably never use. It'll be very beneficial in the future for white hat SEO purposes. 
So you want to make sure the block quote is used appropriately so that one, you're not dinged negatively for trying to steal information in the search engines because they do look for those types of things. Don't, don't think that they don't. You know, the, the search engine uh, algorithms have become very smart nowadays. And when you start copying people's information and not giving credit back and they find that information duplicated on many multiple websites, you're actually going to be dinged negatively for those types of things. So the block quote will actually help prevent those types of situations because you're creating a white hat situation at that point. So remember that the block quote site is going to give you white hat SEO results because you're not going to be dinged negatively for trying to copy someone else's information. So whoever is copying that person's information, you're going to rise above them because the search engine automatically going to push them down in the rankings before yours. So be a smart SEO developer. And one of the ways you do that is with the block quote. Now, of course, let's say we were a news uh, harvesting website, right? So let's say we wanted to create a link to read more about the article as well, right? So we can go ahead and do a uh, href equals, we'll go ahead and just create a pound for now and then read more, right? So now what we've done is we kind of doubled up on one, the presentation of the site itself by letting the customer actually click the link to this main website because it may be a really good article. You may want that user to see that information because you're a news harvesting website. So you're going to get and provide a read more link. But if you want to go ahead and just clean up all that information, you're creating a very minimalistic website. You delete that, save it. You don't lose any SEO, but you don't get dinged on bad content either, which is nice. But your site stays with the standard flow of your website itself. So you can see how the block quote can really benefit you in the future. If you guys have any other questions or concerns, feel free to go ahead and quote them below the video itself. Uh, once again, this is Carlos from DevProCB, and I hope you guys have been enjoying the videos. I hope to see you guys in the next video.